the group is probably going to come down to goal difference potentially. Are you going to want to know an update on the Sweden game at halftime? I don't, I, yeah, normally I don't really pay attention to what's happening on the other side. Uh, just focus on what we're doing at the moment. I think we need to score goals. We're ready for it. Uh, we plan the game like this, so we're going to go for it and we'll see after the game what happens. That was going to be my next question. Knowing that you may need to win the game by multiple goals, does that maybe change and alter your preparation? No, it's something to keep in mind, but I think we don't need to change anything around. I think we're doing a good job. Uh, we already showed what we can do, what we're capable of, but we still need to improve. And I think we just need to be ourselves, and if we can score, then fine. And if not, we just need to win. If it was a quarterfinal against France, you'd obviously be playing against a lot of your teammates from Lyon. Would you be excited about that? Yeah, of course, it's something to get excited. You know, uh, it's my first time also playing a Euros, and to be able to play against my friends and teammates, it's something special. But uh, we'll see. Uh, from the other side, we can also avoid them. That's maybe a better option because France is a strong team also. But as I say, I think we need, need to focus on Switzerland and then we'll see. It's been a little bit like a roller coaster. Uh, we had a few positive cases, uh, injuries, but uh, the most important thing when we go out, we act normal, uh, do our stuff, do our best football, and that's what really matters. The other day we won because of them. Uh, they tested positive, and Jackie's back already with hopefully soon. Uh, COVID is something unexpected always. You cannot control it. So, uh, yeah, we just keep on going and try to win it for them also. Yeah, really nice. It was, yeah, it's my first tournament, a big tournament. So also in England, I think it's something special because of the supporters and how football is like, uh, it's a different style of football. Also the people, how they feel it. And I think that's why it's so big and, and interesting, this tournament. Obviously losing Zari is, is a massive blow for the squad in terms of her ability, also her leadership. Mm -hmm. Have you been speaking to her throughout this and what advice is she giving you? Uh, well, she's at home. Uh, for her, it's a really, yeah, a really sad situation. So she, uh, she first has to uh, let it all down to herself. Uh, but uh, she spoke to me like, just do your thing and enjoy, and uh, it will all come. Uh, will be all right. Yeah. What have you learned from her from working with her over the years? Yeah, it's such a, a great person. It's just such a leader and a great personality. Uh, it's a hard worker, nothing is enough, so yeah, I take that with me, yeah. How is Vivian? Vivian, uh, yeah, she's still in uh, quarantine, so uh, we hope uh, it turned out great, but it's, yeah, still waiting for uh, for her to be better. Crazy. Yeah, they follow us around the world, so that's crazy, yeah, it's, 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 it's beautiful to see. All the, yeah, the, the, the orange on the stands and the, the songs they sing. And they had a special, it's really special.